Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Hush House and the Book of Hours. I am your humble librarian, Fantastic Worlds, welcome you to the world of uh, occult librarianism. Now, let's take a quick recap. As somebody in the comments pointed out, yes, last first episode, I kind of was like a kid in a candy store. Um, yeah, you're not really seeing me at the same level of professionalism as the Cult of Simulator because when I started Cult of Simulator, I was 60 to 100 hours of experience into the game at this point, and you guys are just seeing me in my usual beginning things. And I gotta tell you, I game out of enthusiasm more than um, strategy in the beginning, because I just like to do everything. But my usual schedule for this sort of thing is to keep running forward until I ran into a wall, fall backwards, and then think about what I'm doing. And we have, in fact, run into a wall. By fooling around with books that we really didn't have any reason to it yet, um, yeah, my Faust has unfortunately become fascinated, which means it has a malady, and I gotta cure it with five nectar. Now, I've kind of figured out, since, uh, just get in there. There we go. Kind of figured out we can do that from the bed. We, hook, we put the restore here, but then with all of these, we've got to create five nectar. And the only nectar I have gotten right now is a dandelion wine, which is worth two nectar. Which isn't enough, I need five. One thing we've learned is, you know, five. I mean, make sure you have what you are looking for. Because the reason we messed this up is that we did this traveling at night volume here without sufficient mystery. I'm uh, sorry, without sufficient ability to get the challenge. In other words, we've learned that you need certain things. Like I would require six um, sky, I think, yeah, to be able to figure out this book well enough to get its lessons. So what happened is, of course, is that we did it improperly, which gives you a random chance of success, you know, just, it might happen that way. But then we found, I discovered that you can also screw things up, because the book has messed with our soul. Which is not a good thing. Now, this is technically a sum zero operation, as this was an additional FOSS that we got for advancing our aureal contemplations, which I honestly don't know what it is. I think it's a freaking, um, the cult line of uh, inquiry, as it were. But yeah, we've also got this book here, the Amber Fleck Journal. I am the Twice Born Librarian of Hush House, and this is a journal which I keep in remaining memories. Now, Twice Born is an actual occult term. It refers to somebody who has gone through a ritual or actual death experience to reach the other side and come back. Now, this could be referring to the fact that we, um, the fact. Ooh, I remember that I once walked the house of the sun as a bodiless immortal, that there was a matter which would only be resolved if I return to flesh. Now I go back to the house of the sun. I will be hunted and punished if I stay in flesh. I will be hunted and devoured. I need a third choice. To remain a hush house as the librarian could be one such choice, but there might be something more. Okay, so we just found the backstory. Wow. I mean, no, I seriously, wow. I mean, it's one of the things about this game is that you only really figure out the details. So we are a former immortal that has been cast out of the House of the Sun, or fled it because we had done something wrong. Now, if you go to Act Occult Simulator, you know that the, the, the Apostle runs are us attempting to wrest power from a more powerful agent. Now, unfortunately, what happens is that... Um, if we fail, of course, usually we get pretty messed up. And my guess is this, this is one of the failures. Now, the idea that we are taking refuge in a mystical sanctuary, yeah, that goes along with the Port Noon cards that you play in um, Cult of Simulator, in which there is a sanctuary of Long who do not serve the Hours, the gods, the Hours, of course, in the title, uh, and are kept safe by drinking a well that makes everybody forget they exist once a day because it only lasts for 24 hours, apparently. Apparently, now this is a sanctuary for us to survive our mortality, but against once we're dead, we may have to worry again. And Lantern, you are well acquainted with that. Readable. Yeah, we will learn what all of these will do in time. But I think we're going to take a night off. No, I mean, seriously. What we need to do is we need to... Where are we at? Dusk. Oh, well. We need to recover. And, you know, we've had a long day. In the morning, we're going to hire some workmen, and we're going to uh, start pulling that place apart and start exploring the place. We're going to take a, a bit of a break. We've, we hit the wall. Now we're going to double back. We're going to um, take it out, you know, maybe talk to some friends. I mean, we've got an entire option here of talk we haven't even touched yet. And I know the Reverend likes to talk, so I'll, I'll just stick him in there. We'll be able to talk to him about all sorts of things. But in any case, I really want to try this, by the way, because this was actually in one of the one of the um, notes that the developers give you that you can, in fact, make tea. And you do that by putting it on the fire. The problem is, is that um, if you put it in the fire without effort, you're just going to set consume it. But if you do it with, apparently, pull this up, 
Remember the old rule. The stop. That will produce a tea. Brew it over the fire. Bring water to the boil. Permit the potential here to express itself. Now, we are, remember, trying to get something that is a nectar fo uh, five element. Now, nectar is the green wealth of the world's veins, the pulse of the seasons, long ago referred to as blood. There is um, a lot behind, um, packed behind that one. But the general line itself is not capable of doing so. But let's just make some tea. I want to see about what happens if you make tea. We're going to make it with our stop. That's the last soul bit we have. And we've got a couple of really bad memories that uh, will disappear with the dawn, fortunately. It'll reset these and we'll start bringing ourselves back to progress, as it were. Like I said, what we're going to do is probably hire workmen at the bar to start doing this and then talk to the reverend because we can just summon him using one of our one of our fast, um, our good fast one, or I believe stop will do it too. Ah, there you go. Dawn will come soon. But yeah, uh, depends on how quickly I move the clock, really. But yeah, we can say that. Some nights, sometimes the night is never long enough, and sometimes it's just long enough, and sometimes it dawn comes too quickly. There we go. Stem and scent rise. It's ready. Okay, we collect. All right, hang on a second. Okay, so how's that for synchronicity? I had my coffee come up at the same time as the tea came up on the game. Also forgot to pause it, so we're actually at midday. So that's not great for my gameplay style, but um, we're just, like I said, apparently we just slept in late. That's what the game is, but the tea is ready. Now let's see what we have here. It's an edge, knock, lantern, thing, liquid, beverage, serve. Use a store or glasses or cups. Now, one must, I have guests over for tea. So, what I suggest is let's go talk to the. Uh, it's really not tea time, it's more midday, but let's go. He's probably not a stickler for protocol. Let's go talk to the rector, and we'll use our. We can use either Faust or Stopped. Faust being perception, and Stopped being eloquence. So, this can be used for talking, so this is for seeing. So, let's just talk with him. Now. Now, the rain, by the way, is a two nectar. Ooh, if we can get another nectar from somewhere. We now have, we can use this, the memory, which I believe it is, yep, in order to be able to access that. Now, at the same time, what we're going to do is we are going to hire, using our sixpence, we'll hire cash, oh, oh, stopped. Uh, okay. Thing is, can't I... Hmm. 12 pence. Okay. Sorry, it's my inability to understand, you know. That's okay. So we can add a six pence. Okay. Or add a coin to find visitors worth seeking employment. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a six pence here, and then we'll hopefully be able to put them together at the bank, I think. I'm not sure. We'll figure out how money works. That's going to be kind of really important in the game, I'm thinking. All right, so we'll do that for 60 seconds. 10 seconds to get him back up. And then we shall continue. Okay, so right. So now we're going to have the Reverend shortly. Like I said, I could just use him always jumps to the offer of my company. Let's pause for a moment, figure out what we're going to do with him. Now, this is going to be, like I said, a slow game. So we're going to have basically first, let's serve. Okay, so what we need to do is I think we let's go to our pot. All right, we go to here because I remember right, here, just center that. Thanks. Ah, finally getting the hang of it. We'll put this here under serving, pour out. All right, let's get that a whirl. Yes, we're doing tea, damn it. That's how exciting this game is. Pour it out. Ooh, I have more, too. Oh, and I have dandelion wine, too. And this is worth... Lantern Knockridge went beverage? Huh. Well, what we can do is we can do this. I mean, the problem is the rain gives us two. This will give us two as well, I think. And that will be... All right, so... All right, so let's try talking with him. Always happy to chat. So let's have. I can offer my assistant something to drink. This will increase their aspects. I'll be glad of the refreshment. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I don't know what we're doing with you, but we're having tea. Have fun with that. All right, and we'll unpause. 
And between this and what, basically, don't forget however, I'm also apparently working at the same time. So, yeah, we're not going to be running really fast, the timer at this point, but it is kind of interesting. All right, so we're going to have a nice drop of tea, and then I'm going to serve dandelion wine as, a, as that as well. Because if I can use it for myself, that's two rain to that, eh, I need one more. One more, damn it, to be able to be a, recover my uh, Faust fascinated. All right, so what do we got? Boom. All right, whoa, what's... I wanted that back, thanks. Let's pause for a moment. So we get it going. Down to the Gushness. This has boosted their aspects. His aspect is now two knock, three lantern, one edge. Hmm. Oh, we're going to get him drunk, too, so let's see how that works. All right, so the Rector goes back here. Same time, let's get... Um... Ooh, we have coffee, too. Forge and lantern. Ooh, 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 this is all interesting. We're going to, like, experiment. Let's, so, have another another round, Reverend? All right, then. All right, serve appropriately. Pour it out. Yep, and that is two nectar. Now, again, what I could do is I could... Let's see, let's get this... We'll get it, we'll get it down. And that means we can keep using these over and over again, which is cool. And I'll probably... Let's see, if I was to put this here, for example, then put the Faust Fascinated here, and take the Rain and put that... Oh, I can't. Now it should. Why not? This is a memory. Hmm. Oh, sigh. Unfortunate. But can at least give it to a good rector. I'm hoping that this stays. I don't know what we're, I mean, I don't know if this permanently upgrades him. It probably doesn't, but we should consider at least this for um, a nice drop. All right, benefit from, only benefit from one a day. Able to find a craft more powerful bedrooms is another time. Good to know, good to know. All right, so we put this here. Yes, we can actually, and keep the tea on the, on the board. And we'll just put this by the bottle, and I'm really getting into the domestic part of this, guys. I hope you don't mind that part. All right, and, yeah, this actually belongs over in this room, so I think we can put that back. This is my place, damn it. All right, which Watchman's Tower. Okay, I think, yeah, let's get here. All right, so this is the Watchman's Tower's first floor, which is Eva DeWolf's, um, Baroness Eva DeWolf's favorite spot, which will probably mean something in the, pa in the future. But you see, it has also, you know, bunches of stuff like the like the sky thing, the comfort stairs, the astrolabe, and this. Now, papers. Ooh, I didn't even see this. Choir of papers, except ink with... Oh, where's the ink? Where's the ink? All right, now what? Let's start by adding a soul card. Oh, oh well. What could we put here? Uh, element of the soul with winter, moon, grail, or edge. Winter, male, grown, or edge. Winter, grown, or edge. Interesting. We'll get to it eventually. But... Do we, like... That's we need one more second, apparently. Alright. So, manual labor. We collect this. We've exhausted ourselves. And we have a shilling now, which means we can... Use Miner. In spring, local miner office travels the feast of the lights below. If one breaks his journey at the sweet bones, a shilling will offer his labor. A miner's offer. Uh, forge and a little moon. Alternatively, add a soul card to find a rare gar cursing. So we just want the miner at this point. So yeah, let's give that a whirl. Meanwhile. Alright. Assistance from a miner. Miner is one forge, one moon, two scale, Assistance and introduction. Ooh, the monsters brewed themselves with the help of their wild Celtic... Celtic temperament made wilder by the hardness of their lives and truly ghastly conditions in which they worked. With all this, it's not to wonder the tinners were conspired. must be the Welsh. Which is being scarcely human, but it was these remembered that among them at all times were those whose characters stand in comparison to the best of men. I'm guessing Russell Murhood was referring to the Welsh, which did have an abundance of coal mines. All right, so the miners' assistance. But what I want to try is whether or not I can use this... Boom. Mutual acquaintance will introduce me to Denzel Smith. I must get six or ten words out of him before I'm patient. All right. So we're actually going to expend that to get this open. Now, that's good. See, this is, you know, we're going to take it easy. We're going to, like, just have fun. And uh, the rector, I'm afraid I'm using you for manual labor. I'd like to get the garden. Let's unlock. All right. 
Meanwhile, while that's happening, let's see, I've got a lot of stuff here. Uncatalogued books, there's the ink. No, I mean, the thing is, is I can use the paper, I can use the ink. I wonder, though. Let's go in. And let's take our journal. Book. Journal. Oops. Also, pause, since when was this imp Now, going. Denzel's of Surprising Words of Practical Vice. The smithy is now available. Memory Foresight. It's a lantern. Oh, two forge. Ah. Uh, we will be able to get these things later. Denzel strung Zook, black him with smoke. He'll surpass his father, but he's no longer a soldier. Now we can we can activate him with heart, which is good. Which means we get heart in place. We've got a, the heart card, the health. We can grab him if we need him. Not sure what he's worth, but you can grab him and the um, Reverend and be able to uh, do some serious stuff. Meanwhile, I am glad that the game automatically upgrades your money. We're going to have to work two days to get the assistance of one person. Like I said, I probably should have used the miner to adapt, but, you know, again, we're not digging through this very quickly. I mean, I haven't even gotten through the sitting room, the gatehouse. And you've got some alabaster stuff. I mean, we'll find use for this, I'm sure. And this is also, interestingly enough, a carcass, which means we can use a necropsy table to render it into bones. I have no idea what we do with bones, but I'm already really eager to find out. A little bit of a necromacy on the side never hurt, right? All right, so what do we got? I mean, there's just so much. This is just a couple of rooms. So we might as well make some coffee, too. Ah, we can use the shop for that. We're going to have to use it anyways. Boom, there you go. All right, what do we got here? Hmm, could this be interesting? Garden? Oh, my God. Put a soul and a heart. And, like, oh, my God. Effort knowledge? Ooh, ooh, and lantern. We've got knowledge. Wait, wait. Is this skill? Is this considered a knowledge? No, no. What is considered a knowledge? Oh my God! All of these things. All of these things we need to try at some point. A forbidden workstation hints. Essential and required. Huh? Lantern. Oh, I'm sorry. We should be paying attention. All right, coffee. Coffee from the Great Deserts. This is Forge to Lantern. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, collect. All right, so we've used up all of our soul pits. Okay, and we're putting the coffee... Nope, can't put the coffee there. Okay, we'll put the bread. Oh, we're not going to use the bread. What's the bread for, anyways? Lantern, Forge, Nectar. Oof. Wait, wait, wait. Can this fit in there? No. We will figure these things out as we go on. We might be able to make sandwiches. That would be cool. But what we should no no what we should do is put the coffee here, we'll put the bread back where it started. And yes, this is me getting domestic. It can be really embarrassing sometimes. But yeah, shaving mirror. I mean, there's so many things. Sorry, but all those little bits and pieces will come up, and we've got to figure out how we're going to be able to do this. I mean, I can put like for example, we get to the bed part here, and I can put that there. Uh, actually, I'm wondering about something. Let's grab the let's grab this journal. All right go here. Let's put the journal in the papers. Let's get the ink in there. Let's get the memory. Ooh. Memory? Rain. What do we need now? Soul skills. Ooh. What could fit in there? Lantern. Skill. Lantern. Yes, we can do it. But we can't actually start it. Ah, so close. Uh, maybe it's the memory we can use. No, it's got to be a memory. It's got to have winter grail or edge. Winter grail. I mean, you've got the grail right there, but you're not letting me do this. I guess we need a soul fragment too, which would have been great to know a little bit back ago. But you know, we're gonna lose the rain. We know we can do this. We'll try it again when we uh, when we get to that point. But yeah, okay, so we can work with that. Again, we're just kind of... Uh, so many things. We're going to need more soul parts like crazy. But let's at least get the watchtower done. This is just the entrance, which I love. What's this? The walled garden. Iron spikes. Okay, so yeah, we'll explore the house later. We'll get the workmen in a bit. And we'll pull around. Now, the thing is, we might be able to... Uh, 
Yeah, if we keep burning the health for this rather than the sixpence, we can get the uh, smith to help us out and the reverend. And we can get them liquid stuff for funsies. And we can see how that happens. I know, I know, I know. It's just kind of interesting. And I really do need to unlock this. I need somebody who has an assistant who's got... Okay, is this mean required? Yeah, they need two moon and two winter. I don't think I've got two moon, two winter, uh, that sort of thing. I mean... I mean, you've got the coffee. You might as well just serve the damn thing. Three seconds later, we'll get the actual... Boom. All right, serve appropriate. Collect. Excellent. And that's going to give us this, forge and lantern. Mm. So many things to play with, and alcohol, and the f coffee and alcohol. The fact that coffee and alcohol are among them are kind of interesting. And I just don't tip it over, right? So many. So, actually, let's put this. Let's put this in here and this right here. No, no, the handle. I can't see anything wrong. Keeping fire next to that. All right. So, where's the? Yeah, it's so dark. However, it's difficult to see. I may move this, seriously, though. I mean, it's got to be over here, right? Oh, come on. Let's just... A plant will lighten this place up. There you go. Oh, God. Now that I've learned I can rearrange furnishings, you're all doomed to see me doing that. All right, where are we? Ah, uh, dusk. Oh, wait. Got to get the camera moving. It's one of those times when we want that to happen, but yes. The rain falls mainly here. This is the British Isles, after all, and we've got a long way to go. So yeah, we're going to concentrate on eliminating these two. We'll use the heart to grab that, Stap to grab the uh, that. We'll experiment with drugs. Um, I mean, liquids. Um, and then we're going to see if we can get the oil compensation combo with the desk and our thing here to be able to expand the book further. I don't know exactly what that does, but it's kind of interesting. Anyways, let's move things forward. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can go over more stuff here, but Ooh, astrolabe, that, okay. But this, this is, what does this do? Hmm. Don't know. Let's just put it back. Put it back! Oh no. I forever damned it. Well, I guess we'll be carrying that around for a bit. You know, put it right there. There you go. Excellent. Pause for a moment so we can get, figure out what we're going to do for the day. First things first. No, we don't have a memory or lesson. This is... All right, soul's refreshed. So let's first let the day go up a bit and see if a weather card hits us. There we go. Sunny. All right, so let's try what we were doing before. We've got the journal. He puts the journal in here. No, we don't do that way. Again, we're going to have a... Interesting. Also, it does Desk Evo, which means we might be able to do this elsewhere, too. The memory is sunny. That's the wrong type. Hmm. But what could happen, for example, we get that, and the Frost stopped. Ooh. Hmm. But this one doesn't... Yeah, it's... problem is with this one is this desk may not... Have, it doesn't have the right attributes. Ooh. Weather... Sky and Lantern. Uh, Alright, so we'll keep this in the back of our minds. Meanwhile, what we want to do, we want assistance. So, let's see about grabbing the smith, shall we? Look, I bribed to talk about practical noise, prefers to sit in silence. Give him a cult coinage, he will perform the service of division instead. We don't have a cult coinage. We also don't have anything that... Ooh, we're not going to pay him. We're offering payment for his help. All right, let's see what he's willing to do for us. Whoops, actually, simultaneously, let's get the Foscht going here with the Reverend. So we can get these two going at the same time. I will offer them beverages for their, for their work, however. Just because we can. I don't know if there's a limited amount we can do to that, but, you know, we're here. We're doing it. Collect him, and we should take a look at... Oh, he will not. We do have to pay him. Ooh. Good to know, good to know. Which means that, yeah, time to get back to work. It's gonna take us two days of labor to pay for one of somebody else's, and that just you know, seems so damn appropriate. Now, um, we're gonna take the rector. 
And let's take the top floor. Oh, I can't do him for that. I guess it probably will take. Uh-huh. You know what? If that's going to take a forge thing going on here, what do we need here? He needs exploring the house. Use elements of the soul to enhance their abilities and reach more challenging rooms. Okay, so each room, this requires... So I have two and one here. Okay. Or what do I need here? So yeah, we got to start matching things. Oof. Explore the house. What do we got here? Three knock. We can actually... But what the hell is Rose? I don't know. If it's the rule through the rest of the, the, the threshold of the house proper, the library is a cure with scholars of notes. Some are putting adepts from here. I can survey carefully, observing the proper forms, making the appropriate offerings. Those of the locals know the ways the earth and sea are about. This is really important. Like, I also don't think that he's capable of doing... Hang on. This one. Right. No, we can do guidance at the moment. So this is going to be interesting. We may have to start looking for interesting visitors for that part. In any case, now that we've got this sorted out, so we need... Well, four knife, you're not going to be able to do that. The best opportunity we have here is that. But even if I could jump up your, uh, yeah, let's get you in here. Even if I could jump that up, let's talk about that. Yeah, he's got, you don't see, what was it before? That's a lantern and that. It's not going to be enough, unfortunately. And this is right. Let's get some tea going here. Alright. I don't think it's going to be enough, unfortunately. But. Oh, let's get this. Alright, so we're going to get the rector with a spot of tea, and that will at least increase him to the. Uh, S3 lantern, however. Is it tea I want, or is it. Coffee! Oof. Or is it. Booze. I honestly don't think any of this is going to work. Ah, uh, it's suckage, though. I mean, the thing was... Alright, so we need to match the challenges of each room. Which is interesting. Because this one, like I said, we don't have anywhere near what we need. This one, we don't have... We have three, we have three winter and three lantern. Again, we could possibly get him up to the three lantern part, but the winter ain't happening. Unless, wait, we don't know if that's both. So let's get him up to three lantern using the appropriate beverage. Let's do this, shall we? Now the appropriate beverage is this one, I believe. Yeah, I'll bring him to three lanterns to get him started. Have a nice cuppa. We can also resummon him with shop later. But at least I like the fact that tea lasts. I mean, I hate to have to keep buying the damn thing. Uh, sigh. But yeah, we'll see if this is actually a thing or not. We need to, of course, explore. And it's like I said, since we're all doing this together, it's going to be a heck of a heck of a slow, but hopefully fun ride. And boom, we're done. All right. Okay, we have three lantern. Now, can we get into here? Are you capable of it? Yep. Okay, so we only need one of those combos. Excellent. So we need to up here. We're gonna need. Can't. Don't have anybody can do those yet. Well, it's basically, and this four knife for nectar. Gonna unlock one room at a time. All right. So keep going. We're gonna get that unlocked at least. And where are we with the? Yeah, this will happen first. And we'll have our shilling. Yay! The sweet bones. That's ominous. I mean, you've also got this one, which you definitely need. A lantern, a winter, or a grail. It's neither one of these, unfortunately. Uh, sigh. Alright. Got her a sixpence, which is great. Have to pay him sucks, but, you know, capitalism. And this will unlock this one here. And we'll have another place to stick. All right, but this one requires what again? Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that one. This one, that one. We'll see if this one's going to be unlockable by any means that we have so far. Also, figure out what we're going to be doing with this stuff. I mean, we've got papers, right? We've got ink, right? But nothing in here. I mean, we have skill. Sure, great. Soul. 
What do we need here? All right, so pause. That seemed ominous. So we need one of these, Grail and Edge, either soul or memory. But this one only has sky. Huh, sky and lantern. Guess we look for the appropriate memory to pop up. Well, of course it's the freaking chapel. Why the heck wouldn't it be the chapel? Solomon's study. In 1818, the very Reverend Solomon Huncher became the third librarian of the Curie of the Isle. He took rooms in the Long Tower as his quarters. Hush's taste very Spartan, or the Curie generally liked the luxury. No one ever. Curious librarians. Curator. Um, dare to, but it's feminine. Recreate the place after its disappearance. Baronial period. 16th century dual family. Between the Barons of Branking, the governing the Isle's personal state until their death in 1759, when the end landed madness and death, as usual, most of our runs in Ulta Simulator 2. Okay. Ooh. Unsanctioned inked, deadly, pernicate. The pale is the wisp of the mountain cloud. What the hell? Okay, we gotta do some experimentation here. Is this a desk? Oh god, pale. What we need now? Memory. Okay, we'll put this here with this ink. Study requires effort. You always need a suitable soul card. Wait, what? What does this do? The Library of Hush House determines the answers to the mysteries the hours pay attention. Making a determination is the first step to writing your own history. You require at least 20 of a power aspect. This means potentially soul, memory, and skill, as well as carefully chosen ink. Ooh, 20? 20? Wow, amazing. Well, that's going to happen. All right, stop by adding a soul card. What do you want? You want lantern, right? This doesn't have lantern? Doesn't. Soul. I'm ready, but for what? Skill. Potential here. For apprentice level ransom recipe, provide five. Lantern? Oh, is an ink. But which ink? Do we have an ink? No, this is edge, however. What about this ink? Give me this. Also, not lantern. Damn it. Alright, put this in. Alright. There's still a kind of possibility. Oriel contemplation is the apprentice level that creates Elgar I don't know what that means, but we're doing it anyways. Um hit it. Like I said, I've got no idea what we're doing. We're going to have fun doing it. Give me a pause here, because I just realized I can grab... I can grab him again, but again... Oh, we forgot to see what this one requires. Okay, four lantern again. We might be able to pull it off of him. If we have the right drug. That's going to be coffee, I believe. Right, two lantern. So, we're going to go caffeinate the, uh, the reverend. Give me a minute. Stop me, baby. Everybody else we have to pay for, but you're free, motherfucker. <laughs> and we're doing our thing here. Look, just get me in here. Get me in here. Thank you. What the hell are we doing? I don't know, but it looks fun. All right, cool. Hang on a second. We'll get the reverend. Collect him. Excellent. Rector, I got coffee for you, man. We got coffee like you wouldn't believe. You know, I just like hydrating you. I don't know why. Have some, have some coffee. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was going to happen about the same time, too. Coffee him up, mother All right, but we also need to... No, put that back. Oh, god damn you. No, just... We'll get the hang of us. Remember to always point the rafters in this game, apparently. Okay, you stay there and you go... Where are you gonna go? Wait, I think I have to boot this here, put that there. Oh god, I'm carrying around the damn mirror. Okay, we're good there. Good, I have to see myself now. Alright, pause. Rector's coffeeed up like a beast right now. Awesome. Meanwhile, we should definitely renew our coffee renew our beverages. Okay, you um serve that. Excellent. Oh, God, we're getting him drunk and hydrated. I mean, uh, caffeinated at the same time. All right, get in there. 
Long tower. Freezing air or even tendrils of fog drift from the tower top. I should probably seek help from someone who knows to deal with throat dishes of dealing with restless spirits. I got a caffeinated uh, reverend. Let's deal it. Alright. Pause me. Alright. Coffee's back up and going. This is going to be our sideboard here. Alright, give me some, some wine as well. Hit it. Alright. Surface of the substance is difficult to resolve as if it wasn't there at all. Okay, cool. Oil contemplations and Faust fascinated. I don't know what that means. I think we failed because I'm using the wrong one. We'll use the actual fa real Faust in just a moment. What the... Ooh, well, what? What? Beverage. Liquid. Thing. Winter. Moon. I don't know what we did, but we're doing it. I can't serve it, damn it. Oh, it's probably poison. Wait, wait, I can't serve it because I've got the uh, that up. All right, so I'm not gonna try to... This is getting fascinating. I never realized being domestic was gonna be so so dangerous. All right, let's put... Wait, I've, I've got two wine. I didn't want two wine, I want two... Did I run out of tea? I hope I didn't run out of tea. I'd be so upset. Mostly empty. Yeah, you do run out after a bit. I need more tea, damn it. Ugh. Oh, well. Oh, come on. I can't serve it. Sucks. No idea what we're supposed to do with this stuff, but it's there. Uh, beverage. Okay, so we can basically hop somebody up on one moon and one winter if we use this stuff, which is kind of interesting. Um... Sure. There we go. I've got two tea. Yeah, alright. So, meanwhile... Where are we, anyways? Afternoon. Ugh, so many things I need doing. Alright, so we touched... Our, okay, on satellite books. That's great. What's this? Whispering Sand. It's a material thing. Moon. Great. Got the ink. We've got Widow's Candle. Light it in remembrance. Got so many things. Fuel? Hours as college flames fuel, don't trust your dreams. Okay, so it's light. Ah, so many things. Solomon Hushler, the bust is the palest white. It's a freaking gray. Alright, so what else do we have here? Well, first of all, ah, there's that. I have no idea what we're doing again, but it's fun to do it. Okay. Well, the Reverend will have this place exercised in a bit. Alright, cool. Pause, so we can take a look around. Condition of the sun. Solomon's quarters. In the chilliest room in the house, the long tower is usually called the Winter Tower until Julian Cosley, Magnus Epsler, are reputed long, dwelled here briefly in the 17th century. He is, by the way, he's one of our enemies in the... He's, a, he's the long of the winter, one of our enemies in the Apostle Run. He is called Assuming there. Solomon Hush lives a second night to sleep in the room. Evidently, he didn't mind the cold. So it's, the cold is because he is, of course, a long of winter, a.k.a. death. The foundation, what's this... Woven. Take this to a workbench to render it into rags? No, thank you. Wall art. We describe the whole house and we have winter principle. So many, ooh, what's that? Isle water from deep springs. Ooh. Art. Moon. Winter. Thing. Liquid. Oh, so many things I need to do. We need to move into this and we need, oh, first of all, let's start transporting stuff. I'm gonna, my pack right instincts are coming online. Um, What else have we got? That we can possibly use here. Bed. Oh my god. Argument. Not just snatching soul card or out for a visitor a bed for the night. No. Alright. It's gotta have winter in it. Which none of mine do, unfortunately. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One health. Oh, 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 oh. Hit me with the wine here. We have... Okay, Foss fascinated, right? Oh no, the problem is you can't have two soul cards, obviously. But no, actually. Put the Faust here. Put the health. When it's not fatigued, that's one, two. And we have the with two wine. The wine will give us an additional... Where is it? Two, that. That's two. Soul gives us three. Oh, not enough, unfortunately. But the rain would do it. Ooh, if we can get rain, we got this figured out. Excellent. Keep that wine. Keep this one wine here untouched. I'll put that over here. So we keep these things going. 
We got to figure out how we're going to dose people up. All right. So what do we need here? Four. I don't have anybody to do that at the moment. I think, however, the forge guy has, um, oh, look, we're going to have plenty of night. We don't have to slow things down. I think the forge guy. Yeah. We got a lot of books here. But baronial readable and cataloged thing. Do we like have the ability to stick these in a desk or something? Let's take one of these. All right. Let's see about using this. Can it fit into any of these? Yes. Papers. Send books. Say so effort and you need a suitable soul card first. Now this one we only have things. Alright, so yeah, we need to go through the start going through the books. Well, we are the librarian, that is our job. We still have unfinished business in some of these bit rooms. Hmm. I need this one. I didn't check this one yet. Three, yeah, we can do the same thing. Knock three and get into the first truth threshold. Now, do we have a drug that will increase his knock? That's not it. That's not it. Hmm. Need more tea, damn it. Used up all my tea. How do you buy tea? Mm, suck it. No, you know. Uh, money would do it, but what's that do for us? Actually, I kind of do want that. Got a lot of cash, but, you know. Alright. Alright, we got a shilling, a floor, and a half crown, and whatever the hell that is, crown. Excellent. Not sure what we're doing with it, but we got it. Alright, so, also we should probably... This should probably be our liquid storage. All right. So one of the things we have to consider is how we need to get. I mean, now we've got the better idea of what we need here. We need guidance worth two moon or two winter to get through here. In order to do that, all right, we need to pause first. What the heck. Oh, okay. Oh, hopefully they're not gonna mess with us. Mail arrived. Clouds. A reminder. Oh, right. Let's, um, can we do that here? I do. Oh, 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 oh. First of all, let's try over here the most logical thing. All right, so. Library. Nope. Reminder. Nope. What is a paper? It's readable. Correspondence. All right. So, yeah, might want to tell them I'm not dead. Let's see, I think, can we use the... Good thing of it. All right, let's work with the papers. That's a lot of papers. And... What am I going to do with this? Read the, letter, read the letter to reply and add ink at a desk. Thank you. Add the soul card. Not all decks allow all soul cards. Wait, are you kidding me? So I can't use this one, which sucks. I hope we're not consumable. If we have a second desk though. We might be able to use this one. All right then. Okay, letter librarian with ink. And let's see. Still use this one. Which is precarious as much as you don't know. Is anybody tell me of oh, the house? Yeah, okay, cool. Hit it. Really should have done that earlier. Ah, uh, again, fascination with me. But, anyways, while we're doing that, use this one. Alright. Let's get that started. Meanwhile, the question is how much cash do we want? I mean, I should probably consider, like, right. Okay. So, first of all, clouds. Do not have perfect. we need rain again if we're gonna get our stop back. Which would be kind of interesting to be able to do that. But we can use the Fosch Shaft Health. I mean we can remember Reverend's worth two lantern one knock. We can get somehow dose him up to get three more. We don't know if we get the appropriate tea or not. But yeah, we've got that possibility. This one, which is two grail or two sky, which I don't think we have anything for. That one's got us three, and we need to be able to pump two into him, and we need four of that. Hmm. 
or four knife. All right, we can try to go for interesting people at the uh, thing place, but if we're going to keep using money, we're going to have to keep earning it. So, much as I dislike that, we don't have the right thing for it yet. So let's just do some manual labor and start increasing our money, and then we can start seeing if we can find somebody else to give us a hand here. But um, let's continue with the correspondence that we should have been doing previously, and somehow we were running at two different discs at the same time, which is fascinating. I finished reading. Trust hopes I've arrived safely. I haven't noticed why I haven't replied yet. Okay, wait, what? Okay. Let's copy the clipboard, but how do we do this? Okay, so yeah. Oh, collect. I don't understand this. Try again, I guess. Meanwhile. Yeah, there was a shipwreck, dude. Uh, totally did, didn't blow you. Take this post office dispatch to St. Rodrigo's Point. They'll arrive. They'll send more funds. I hope. Dregs. This was something. And memory revelation two. Oh, that's quite what I was looking for. But now the question is, what can I do with that memory? If it's two lantern, we can experiment, I suppose. Okay, so let's get the reply going. Did I leave that on the desk? Probably. Oh, yeah, there we go. Collect all. I do like the fact we still can use the, the Faust, but, um... Yeah, we should probably, like, let them know that we've come. Postage. What do you need? Shilling. One twentieth shilling. One twenty quarter of a pound. Had two and a half shillings, obviously. Stamp envelope and send. Excellent. Take notes. All right, so how do I copy the clipboard? Do I, do I have to, like, go out here? Let's just check. I mean, is it really my actual clipboard? Do I have to, like, post it to, like, an outside thing? All right, so let's give it a whirl. Uh... Oh, the trust the safe line was having it replied. The list list is signed simply trustees. Yep, guess what? I need to keep my uh my um my uh how it's fascinating. I'm gonna have to keep my um Somebody rec recognized, yeah, that we're gonna have a file keep a file of all this stuff. Okay, this was something's gonna decay quickly. Now the question is we've got this stuff. Now we should as we get through here, we should consider Oh, and do we need to make a reply? That's what I want to know. And are we using up the ink? That's not a good sign if we do. Uh, I don't see it here. Ah, uh, if we're using up ink, we're going to be more careful. I know I'm having fun, but... Probably, just to let you know, I'm probably going to blow the first run here. Just learning some of the basic rules. Like, I've got no idea why that's a thing. I've got... Okay, there's that ink right there. But, if you look here, that ink's gone. So, do we consume ink by using it? Ooh, that's not good. I mean, I'm obviously not going to do that, but... So much to do, so much. All right, so let's say, for example... We want to get in here. We think it's going to take edge, of all things. Now, can the coffee give us edge? Mm, probably, but... Yeah, no, actually. That won't give edge. This won't give edge. Gives you two of the nectar, however. Huh. Definitely have to work at this. Gonna have to work at it. But, we do have one moon. If we can get somebody... With one moon and one moon and or two winter. Yeah, we're still, however, working for the uh, man over there. Okay. All right, we got our change. I should probably pause. Two pence. Yeah, this is going to be a bit. We have to learn the freaking sis this system. We have to learn this. Ugh. Uh, at least we can do. Oh, thank God. 
two pence, three pence. Or I can start receiving letters, which is great. Maybe you can tell me what I'm doing, because apparently I should probably have asked for help earlier. That's one of my probably my biggest failings, is that I seriously do not ask for help that often. Um, right, so what can we do with our memories? <laughs> okay, so if we were to try to do this with this, oh, it's not the right type. And I've still have to figure out what we're going to do with this. Hmm. Wrong type of memory. All right, so try this one. Apparently, desks are pur have purposes. All right, so gonna have to figure out how to make things. All right, so yeah, let's just grab our money. All right, which becomes a shilling. Great. At least this is keeping track of the money system for me. This is all weird. All right, so me, we can let's see which one do we want? Faust, help with letters. Offer the correspondence. There's no school in Brain Creek. Everything is at or add a coin to find visitors seeking a bird. You know, we're just gonna get a lot of cash in this one because I'm thinking, yeah, what we're gonna take one day. We're gonna just basically, you know, sell ourselves for as much as we can, and then we're going to see how much we're actually worth in a day. Is how much we can actually pull out while you know selling ourselves for manual labor. We've got all of this to deal with. All right, so what to do with this, anyways? Curious. Effort has to require a soul part with a heart. We can do that. Um, and we could use knowledge, absolutely required skill. I mean, this could go here. No, it can't. Ooh. Required and essential. Right, we put that heart in there and we've got to figure out what we're going to do with knowledge. I mean... What is knowledge? What is truly knowledge? Oh, gods. I gotta say the soundtrack's cool, though. So much. So much. How much? Ah, I got another sixpence. Excellent. And what can we do is stopped. Anything? Okay, cool. Sixpence worth of odd jobs. There we go. So basically we can sell each one of them. But we are just waiting on the rain, because we do have that glass of dandelion wine, plus the rain, plus the uh plus our heart. We'll be able to regenerate the fast from fascinated back into normalcy. So basically we're kind of waiting on the gods of RNG, but if you've been playing Cultist Simulator this long, you should probably know that by now. But little by little, we will increase our funding, if nothing else, every day, while we continue to wait for further instructions or find a way to get to some of these places. Hmm. I mean, we will go for an interest. Last thing I'll probably do is see if we can get an interesting person in here. And see what we can do with them. We can't do much with them in the afternoon, summer, summer. Grail at her greatest. Yep, fertility. This basically means something, but I don't know yet. Mm. So yeah, we've been entertaining. At least we've been more social this time around. They've been trying to bury our heads in the books and watching them fry anyways. And we've learned that we can do odd things every now and then. All right, so take this. Basically, each soul fragment can produce more money. And we got what's a floor and become. Oh dear gods. Ten shilling note. Hey, well at least we made some profit. <laughs> Alright then, this is where we're at. This is what we own. I ain't broke, and I can certainly certainly do worse. Alright, so in any case, we're gonna have to wait for all that to come in. I don't know what Revelation's memory is gonna be worth at this point. Now we could now is this one? could check to see. We're going to have to get familiar with all of these. That's what's recommended. But this one, I think, does have lantern. So we can put memory in here. Could have added a soul card. Yeah, could definitely. Oh, Faust. Faust still is usable. A skill card. Another Ingolod, but we won't need to use up anything. All right, you know what? But let's try this one. Or have an optical device, a lens. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, we're going to be experimenting like hell. 
And it's interesting, I can kill you as the fascinated one, which probably makes sense as we're kind of a crazy occultist. Or cult. We aren't, we're technically we're an ex occult object. I mean, an individual, which is fascinating to me. Also, got to figure what we're going to do with that paper. And yeah. Yeah, we're, like I said, every day I can't figure out what we're going to be doing. I'm basically going to be whoring myself out to the uh, economic system. Um, we will slowly but surely acquire funds, and I will try to find somebody fascinating, and we'll see if we can hire someone. Mm. Curious, what do you charge and what? I'm just going to see what he is. So he needs a soul fragment. And obviously we get knife that and heart. We can. He might be able to get us into some of these scenarios. And when we get to, uh, we're not that far from. We're not that far from. Ah, uh, dust. All right. So the clouds. The weather will change on us. What do we have? Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna be interesting anyways. Ooh, it's an object. Forge. Edge. Lens. Glass device machine operate once infernal means it'll explode. Be careful. Tool thing sky and lantern. I'm gonna try discussing this with like the forge master next time and see what that does. I mean it's kind of an interesting concept. Now I have the ability to create objects. One shot objects. Alright, cool. Let's see what today brings. Alright, first things first got sunny which again doesn't have the nectar thing so we've got that uh so many things to play with but what i want to do we'll probably do this next time around could put in stopped here nope yeah stopped what we want shilling will buy us help for a day i want to know what that is but yeah i'll probably say it for next round because we are coming on an hour now i hope like i said we didn't do a lot of really fancy stuff but it was fun for me I hope it's fun for you, but yeah, we're just experimenting what we can do. So I can create drugs, I can create magic lenses, I can um, coffee up my people and send them to do things. Yeah, I'm thinking that I will be able to use a smith, possibly, if I can get... There's got to be an edge drink. I mean, doesn't coffee... Why doesn't coffee give you edge? Really should. <laughs> Sigh. Well, it'll come to us eventually. We'll get some interesting, try to get some interesting people out in the bar to maybe unlock some of the other rooms. And then maybe even this, the man or I didn't actually record what the miner was when it came to the, um, when it came to his attributes. Yeah, it's going to add up slowly but surely. We will get to it. We will figure this out. We will unlock more rooms. We will mess with more stuff. We'll use up more ink and in experimentations. We will have entertainments. And we will figure out what it means to actually be a occult librarian. And I'm thinking at some point, we we'll probably should check in on the... Uh, we will get more mail from the trustees. It's kind of interesting that they, they will remind you that you need to check in, which, you know, of course, you know, we probably should be more attentive to our duties. Really come down to it. Anyways, this is Fantastic Worlds. So farewell from Lovecraft Country and the Book of Hours. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. Like I said, we're going to be moving a little slower in the future, moving more cautiously, opening up more areas, getting to know more of the people and the mechanics within the village itself, maybe checking out the title flats so we can get that done, and become the um, true, true librarian of Hush House. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte Level supporters, whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.